Yeah, so at the beginning of this project, uh, one of our primary aims was to um, try and find the medieval wall and ditch um, that goes across Kingsmead. And um, yeah, we found it essentially. Um, we've got a clay bonded stone wall, um, which is flanked by a six metre wide, very deep ditch, um, which looks defensive. Um, and uh, we then also have a little stone bridge that we found over it. Um, now the, the bridge is a little bit later, um, the finds uh, indicate that it was probably built around 70, 1700, give or take 10 years, um, and then later on the whole area was developed. I was going to say, when, when the bridge was erected this would have been open fields, wouldn't it? Yeah, essentially um, there would have been meadows here and a path running along the riverside. Um, we've got evidence of ruts, uh, cart ruts leading up to the edge of the ditch, which we've got late 17th century clay pipes in. Obviously at some point this, this became impractical, so they, they built a small bridge over it. And subsequent to that, before the area was developed and built on, uh, a culvert was put into the ditch, it would seem. That's right, it looks like the ditch was cleared out and then a very substantial stone culvert uh, was built. This appears to be early 18th century and it was probably built immediately prior to um, the first buildings on Avon Street going up. Now, I, I don't think you were expecting to find any evidence of a wall at this particular point, uh, so that's going to be a bonus for you. And you were telling me earlier there's some evidence that this is a wall that's been on the move. Yeah, so the earliest maps of the area show a wall coming part way down to the river and then a fence for the last, the last stretch of it. Um, what we've actually found is the foundations of a wall on the uh, east side of the ditch. Um, the wall seems to be leaning towards the west and what we think has happened is the, the stretch of wall nearest the river would have impounded floodwaters and then the weight of the water essentially pushed the wall into the ditch and then later on it was replaced by a fence line. It's amazing what guys like you can put together uh, with no more than piles of stone and ditches, so I'm very impressed. Now, the other thing you were hoping to find was evidence of the bathhouse, the place where uh, the ordinary working people who lived around here actually went uh, to wash before they went to work. Yeah, so we've got um, more or less the full footprint of the baths now. Um, we've got uh, the area where the water was pumped out of the river, and uh, two, possibly three, steam boiler bases. And then adjacent to this, uh, we've got a, a large room divided into lots of small cubicles. And um, these appear to be the places where people would have had wash stands and, and done their laundry. So no, no luxurious thermal waters being piped here. It was river water pumped out of the Avon. Yes, yeah, quite. It's um, a far cry from the uh, baths in the centre of town. Um, but the documentary evidence we have um, is that there were settling tanks somewhere so that it essentially let the silt drop out so the water would at least be relatively clear and then boil it. So it's reasonably hygienic but probably best not to think about what else was in the river at the time. Now I know the contractors are anxious to, to get on and they are sort of creeping up the bank behind you, uh, gouging out what you've already looked at. Um, have you been pleased with the way things have gone so far? Were, were you hoping that you would find as much as you did in the end? Yeah, we're, we're very happy with how things have gone. Um, because of the, the sheer quantity of uh, archaeology along the riverbank, we had to devise a relatively rapid way of dealing with it. Um, and this seems to have worked extremely well. We've got a very nice record of the buildings we've got um, and have managed to keep ahead of the contractors. Um, yeah, so all, all in all a good result. The one thing I haven't mentioned, uh, something you were looking for, uh, something which doesn't exist anymore because the contractors have almost caught up with us, uh, was the slipway. Yes, yeah, so we did find part of the slipway at the end of Avon Street. This was a, a, a ramped, co cobbled um, incline leading down to the river um, and then it appears that when it went out of use, uh, the ground was made up with lots of industrial waste, which uh, included a, a large dump of clay tobacco pipes from around 1810. So we've got some nice close dating for when, when, it, when it was finally closed. Now, your, uh, your pieces on Bath Museum have proved very popular, and I'm sure people are going to enjoy listening to you once again on this third and final report. But the question they're all going to be asking is, uh, you have recorded the site, you have made 
many fines, will that record, will those fines ever be available to the general public? Yes, well, once we've finished our site work, um, we will produce a report and uh, this will be made publicly accessible so that everything that we found here will be available for the public and uh, the, the, best, the, the best quality finds will be deposited with the, the local museum which will be accessible for um, anyone who wants to come and see them.